Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sunday Test's Late Evening Talks. We are here today to talk to a very important guest today, our Miss Ruslina, who is an award-winning lecturer. Um, but before we do that, let's hear from Ming Xiang from ICW, all right, about what ICW is all about. So can we have Ming Xiang to join us? Hello, Jack. Hi, hi, hi. So we will have you to introduce um, ICW to our guests today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me here over here, Jack. And uh, thank you. Hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ming Xiang, and I work with the ICW office in Malaysia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next 10 minutes, all right, to introduce to you who we are, what we do, what's this qualification all about, and how you can become chartered accountants. And I'll end the presentation with a very short video, and I'll hand you back then over to Jack again. Okay, so without further ado, <clears throat> let me just share my screen with you. Okay. I think I have a, I have a small technical issue where my screen has frozen. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, all right. All right, sit back and enjoy while I'll start off with a short video first. Are you ready to future-proof your career with ICAW? You can kickstart a journey that is recognized and preferred by top employers globally. The ICAEW qualification is for anyone with a passion for accountancy, business and finance. And there are several pathways to get you started. As soon as you leave school, you can study for the ICAEW Certificate in Finance, Accounting and Business, the direct route for acquiring the ACA qualification. While university students or graduates could enroll for the qualification during or after their degree, you may apply for credits for prior learning, also known as exemptions, or gain strategic credits at selected universities in Malaysia. What's more, you also have the opportunity to complete the ACA qualification while being employed. ICAEW Chartered Accountants are highly sought after in any industry for their expertise in business acumen and strategy. 96 of the world's 100 global leading brands employ ICAEW Chartered Accountants and 83% of FTSE companies have an ICAEW Chartered Accountant on their board. You can be a part of a global network of 186,500 ICAEW members and students in 150 countries and work anywhere in the world with recognition from the Chartered Accountants Worldwide and Global Accounting Alliance Networks. ICAEW is founded in 1880 with the Royal Charter and is one of the oldest professional bodies with a long history of serving the public interest and supporting members globally. As we continue to work with governments, regulators and business leaders around the world, we believe that chartered accountancy can be a force for positive change. We share our professional insight, expertise and understanding of business and finance to create a world of strong economies and a stable future for all. Check out what our chartered accountants have to say about the ICAEW experience. ICAEW carries and operates in the accounting and finance world. And the reason the brand is so strong is because it produces finance leaders who think critically, act ethically, and with integrity. The knowledge that I gained from ICW helped me in like my day-to-day -day work, ranging from like financial reporting, tax, um, and how to adapt into different kind of situation at the workplace. I would say ICW provide a very strong and solid foundation to prepare the students for the actual workplace. My current role requires me to be fully knowledgeable and fix the set accounting and the ACA syllabus encompasses all of these and
start your path towards becoming a chartered accountant with ICAEW. For more info or to register your interest, please contact our ICAEW personnel. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is going to share with you a little bit about who we are. All right. <clears throat> and why oh, you should take up this qualification. Oops, give me a moment. I think I've got an issue, tech issue again. All right. <clears throat> so let me just close this. Okay. So <clears throat> we, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, <clears throat> thank you very much for bearing with me for the time being. All right, so <clears throat> you've seen the video and you've heard about ICW who has been mentioned many times, all right? So <clears throat> today, what I'm gonna share with you is a little bit about our history. So we are the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, and we were founded in 1880 by Royal Charter from the Queen of England. Our head office is in London, <clears throat> all right? In Chartered Accountants Hall, but today, we have offices all over the world in Europe, in Asia, including offices in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and, Indone and uh, Vietnam as well. We have more than 159,000 chartered accountants today working in 149 different countries in a variety of roles. <clears throat> all of the world's 100 global leading brands employ ICW chartered accountants and more than 200 authorized training employers in Malaysia takes in and train chartered accountants. <clears throat> Today, we have chartered accountants working in a variety of industry, ranging from manufacturing to mining to oil and gas, hospitality, fashion, accounting, of course, healthcare, media, sports, and even in retail. In other words, we have ICW chartered accountants in almost any type of different profession in the world. <clears throat> so <clears throat> why take up the ICAW? It is actually one of the most portable qualification in the world where the professional qualification, our professional qualification is recognized by various bodies in different country, including <clears throat> we have alliance, we have formed alliance with the American Institute of <clears throat> Chartered Practice Public Accountants. We have formed alliances with the Canadian body, with the Hong Kong body, Japan, Ireland, South Africa, and many more. We are also part of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide, where we have reciprocal membership agreements with membership with excuse me professional bodies in Singapore, for example, with the Institute of Singapore Chartered Accountants, with the Chartered Accountants in Australia and New Zealand, all right, with the Ikatan Akuntan Indonesia, to name a few. Right? In other words, Chartered Accountants with ICW can work in virtually any country in the world, all right, <clears throat> in a variety of roles. So, taking up the ICW qualification is actually very easy, right? It consists of three stages, where each stage consists of six papers, except for the final stage where it has three papers, including a case study. <clears throat> we assume that students who embark and take up the ICW has zero knowledge in accounting and business. So when you come in at a certificate level, we will then um, embed you with knowledge in areas like accounting, business, assurance, law, IT. And then with all this knowledge, when you move on to the second level, which is the professional level, and this is where we then train you and to apply what you have learned at the certificate level. And finally, when you move on to the advanced level, very uniquely, our qualification will require you to work. All right. And while you're working, you will then take on the final three modules, which incorporates all the 12 papers that you have covered before. So what makes ICW very unique is that you can actually start the qualification directly after high school. Of course, we have 
students who take up the ICW qualification upon completing a degree, which is a traditional route which many accountants take. But with the ICW, you could also start immediately after high school by taking up the ICW CFAT, which would take you approximately one and a half years with Sunway. And upon completing the CFAT, you will then be able to flow into the professional level where you then take another one more year to complete the next six level, six modules. And upon completing the professional level, you will then be able to embark into the working world, be fully employed, and then take on a training agreement to complete the final advanced level. Which means that with the ICW qualification, right, if you take it after high school, it will give you an opportunity to hit the job market early, ahead of many of your peers, approximately three years after your high school. All right? <clears throat> and in Malaysia, we work with many employers who are ready to, ready to take you in train you and employ you to be chartered accountants. We work with audit and accounting firms like BDO, Deloitte, EY, KPMG, PWC, to name a few, as well as our banks like Maybank, CIMB, MBank, RHB, multinational firms like Schlumberger, <coughs> Shell, Manulife, Intel, Dell, and many more. We also work with government link agencies, including Bursa Malaysia, the Naga National <clears throat> Bank Nagara to take you in, to train you to be chartered accountants. So just to give you a few introduction to ICW as well, many corporate leaders today are ICW chartered accountants, the managing partners of the global accounting firms, I, out of the global six, the big, the, excuse me, out of the global six, Four of the top accounting firms like PwC, BDO, Grant Thornton, and EY, their managing partners are ICAW chartered accountants. Corporate leaders like Tony Fernandez, the founder of Dune Group and Air Asia, as well as the CEO of Mr. DIY, Mr. Adrian Ong, and formerly the presenter and producer of BFM 89.9, they are all ICAW chartered accountants as well, playing different roles in different organizations. The top leaders in Petronas, from the chairman down to the CEO to the group corporate finance general manager, they are all ICW chartered accountants. So, <clears throat> as well as the managing part director of Kazana and the CFOs of QSR and Sun Darby as well, they are all ICW chartered accountants. So, as you can see, many of our chartered accountants today are at various organizations in Malaysia and overseas as well, right? We actually have Malaysians working in Singapore, Dubai, UK, Hong Kong, and many other countries as well, practicing accountants, ICW chartered accountants. So that brings me to the end of my presentation, all right, where um, <clears throat> uh, a short introduction to who ICW are, all right, who we are and what we do. And uh, I'll hand you back over to Jack. Thank you. For the moment that you all have been waiting for, let's welcome Ms. Ruslina. Thank you very much, Ming Xiang. Hi, Jack. Hi, Ruslina. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Thanks Good to have you for here. having me. Yep. <laughs> Great. How long have you been lecturing with us already? Yeah. Um, I guess around 22 years. Wow, 22 years. Okay, yep. that's great. And I think you have actually achieved quite a lot of awards, right? Mm. I think you cannot come with one, two hands. No, I can't. Can <laughs> <come. laughs> you also had like, uh, within one sitting, you had two, isn't it? Mm. There's a if few you... sittings. I had two um, joint prize winners. I Meaning think both also got 100 marks or something like that, right? Not 100, but yeah, the highest uh, mark around the world. Uh. Okay. Yeah, so very good, very good, very good. Um, so today I have got nine prize winners. I'm hoping okay. that it's been a while. So I, I'm i hoping that pretty soon it will break. I will get my 10th prize winner. 
surprise you now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Then we can really yeah. celebrate. Okay, great, yeah. great, great. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your journey that led you to become a lecturer? So, you know, for that 22 years before you came into lecturing, what actually, you know, what was your journey like? Um, well, I actually studied overseas in US and because I love accounting, so I took up my master's in professional accountancy. And then I came back and I started working at, uh, as an auditor in one of the big five, PwC. And at the same time while working, I decided to also pursue my professional qualification. So once I finished, I then I moved on to become a, uh, to work for one of the multinational com companies. And then one suddenly one day, Mr. Tio E. Seng actually called me and said, hey, uh, would, you, would you be interested in becoming a lecturer at Sunway Test? So, and and uh, I said, yes. So that was the start <laughs> of my lecturing. Yeah. And that was 22 years ago. 22 years ago. Wow. I can't imagine. And nine world prizes. Yeah, excellent. Okay, very, very good. <laughs> So actually, okay. what really inspired you to become an academician? Um, I would say that I love teaching uh, my students and love spending time with them. Uh, so initially, it was I was thinking that it was just you know um, work life balance, but in actual fact, it became more than that. Uh, I have a passion for uh, for teaching and i really hope that you know i will make a difference in some of my students lives and that's why i stuck to this job for 22 yeah. years yeah. <laughs> not stuck i mean you really impacted so many students right throughout your time i hope so in some I hope way, so. right so yes. you know um and you know that, that that passion can be seen in the results that you actually achieve it's not just only the world prizes it's the 100 percent passes Right, and how the students manage to bridge through, you know, their hurdles and problems. Okay, and you know, those are the things that I think you know the impact is tremendous. And I'm sure a lot of the students or rather now the alumni, right, will actually remember you as the most caring lecturer that we have. <laughs> well, I try to, but <laughs> I hope I will be able to carry that. I have that that passion for okay, okay. for a long, long time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. When you say work-life balance, now it's this is your key you know your life you know to impact the rest of the people that's that you're right. really, you know in touch with all the time so that's great so you know um since you have been with us for 22 years right you know what do you think would be the main concerns for students especially if they are coming from a um, non-accounting background because a lot of students always come and say you know i'm from the science stream right you know would it be difficult to uh do accounting okay and because you are the one that is going to be you know the first subject that they take at a professional level that is accounting so what was what 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 are the concerns that they usually have and how do you actually manage it well as you said they're science students so they don't mm -hmm. have accounting knowledge um and they're worried that they can't cope with it but as mintian said earlier okay icw is very well structured it has three levels certificate and then professional and the, the advanced so um when they come in, they're at the certificate level, we will actually, like, like Min Siang said, assume that they have zero knowledge, accounting knowledge, and we will teach them from, from the basic. Okay, and um, for those that still have problems, then we will actually give the extra effort to help them up, give them um, additional hours to, to guide them so that they will be able to understand the concepts, the, 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 yeah, the principles before we move on to a, the, top, the new topic. Lah. So yeah, don't worry, okay? you are in good hands. All our yeah. lecturers are all very highly qualified and very experienced. <laughs> and I believe they were even have you even had experiences of students coming to your house, you know, asking ah. you questions in the middle of the night, right? Remember? <laughs> Yes, that was back then. La. <laughs> yeah, they do come. They, they came to my house. They actually, um, but, but and back then I have kids. So sometimes I have to bring my kids for for activities like uh, swimming at a club. One, uh, and then they will also come to the one club to ask me questions. Yeah. So we, we, we as lecturers at Sunway Test actually puts our 
you know, all our efforts lah, to make sure that the students will be able to do well. Okay, yeah, Miss Rina, I think there are some students in our chat room, right, that is actually saying hi to you, right? Maybe you can say really? hi. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chen Hui, remember Chen Hui? Chen Hui, yes, Chen Hui is here. Hi, yes, Chen yes, Hui. Yes. <laughs> and then Wei Yi, Junsen, Hi, Yu Min, right? Yi. It's good to see all of them, you know, Hi, come and support you. Ming. Yep, so long didn't see some of them. Okay, great yeah. to see you all. So, and the next question I want to ask you, right? One of the memorable moments, of course, you know, was the students coming to look for you, right? Is there any other memorable moments that, you know, as a lecturer that you have? Uh, I guess there's just too many. Uh, but um, one of the memorable ones would probably be my students getting more prize. Another one would be like you said, double, 100%, double one, right? <laughs> yeah, hundred all of them. Okay, all of them that got world prize. So even if they didn't get world prize, they have very high marks. It's really an achievement for for mm -hmm. them, and I'm very happy and proud of all of them. Ah, uh, the when my groups get hundred percent passing rate, then um, we actually go for to celebrate and and bring them to to restaurants to have a good meal. All right, so then that's when we can actually. You know, talk about other things other than accounting, and, and of now course, we really enjoy the process, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and of course, um, getting to see them graduate lah, all of them graduate yes. wearing their graduation ceremony, uh, graduation gown and their mortar boards. That is also very memorable. Yeah, to especially me. you know, I think it in the past two years we didn't have graduation, <laughs> and I the, the one that we had recently, I right, had all the two, three years batches of students coming back, you know, suddenly the whole hall was filled up with all of them, you know, it really, really bring back all the memories. You know? Yeah, so I like, missed that one, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will not miss this coming one, so I hope I to see a lot of graduates Regina, then. That is, that's one very, very important thing that, you know, uh, also is very memorable for me as a lecturer as well, is when we see some students who are struggling and then they finally break through after yeah. so many effort and so many things that have actually gone through with them and taking care of them and to see that, you know, they finally, ah, I know what it is like. Okay. Yeah. And, then and they even, really if, catch even if they failed the first time, it's, it's mm. not because they are not good. It's just that they're not ready yet. And, yes, yes. If, and eventually they, they still, you know, they're doing very well in the, in their jobs. Yep. So, right. Yeah. And I believe the qualification is really fair whereby, you know, uh, it really does, you know, uh, train the students to make sure that they're competent because, mm -hmm. you know, as accountants, you have to be accountable to the public. And that's where it's so important for you to be competent and not say that, you know, uh, I think I know a bit and then I can actually graduate. So this is really a very strong qualification and you have to be, you know, when we talk about accountancy, the key word here is accountability, <laughs> right? Making sure that we have got a good trail of what exactly happened. Okay. So, you know, we are not just only um, inculcating how to the knowledge and the skills, but we are also inculcating very important values, right, in this course. And since when students, you know, uh, ab are able to uh, take on those values when they go out to work, right, and I think that is really memorable to us, lah, you know, as lecturers. <laughs> yep. Okay. Right. So that's one more thing that we want to ch uh, I want to ask you, right, because nowadays, you know, the the syllabus keeps changing, right? Do you think that the professional accounting qualification is still relevant you know based on the changes that we have been is it do you think that it's still relevant so that's why we the syllabus keeps changing and so they incorporate a lot of new stuff now into the syllabus to make it more relevant okay but um so like, like the, they bring in uh, big data cloud computing um blockchain and they also recently uh, introduced data analytics uh, tools for the students to um, to learn uh, how to use it and and apply. Yeah, that, that was in the CR level, right? Whereby they're supposed mm -hmm. to use the system called Inflow, right? Yes, to be that's the data to... analytical tool that I was saying. Uh, yeah, correct, they will correct. use uh, to identify any um, unusual transactions or trends that will, you know click and say, okay, this is a high risk area for them to check on for auditors. Yeah. 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 Because the foundation of us giving them, you know, the, 
the, the, the ways to prepare the accounts, right, and to identify what is the issue. That's only the foundation. And when you come to the higher level, that's where they use all these technological tools. And it is already incorporated into the exams whereby yeah. they really need to know how to use it, right, and to learn how to interpret the results from these systems and to query and to pull out data from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nowadays accountants are not just only crunching numbers and preparing financials, they are there to become business partners to the organization using the numbers to ensure that they make the right business decisions. And that's where um, I believe in this particular program whereby uh, this program actually allows the students to become very good entrepreneurs, right? Very mm -hmm. good business partners that is going to help the organization do very well. Okay, so that's the key to now how this profession has actually moved on and evolved. So, um, and you know, what, what would your advice to potential students, right? Uh, mm -hmm. who would like to pursue a career in business. Do you have any advice to students who are interested in business and then they want to come and join the course? Or do you have any advice for the students? If you are, you know, if you are thinking about a fast track program that works, I would I would rec highly recommend ICW qualification. Okay, it's not just about accounting. ICW teaches everything that's relating to business and to equip you with the skills to become business leaders. Mm. And, so. and remember when we were just looking at some of our news reports, yeah. right, about how some of our students in are in different parts of the world. Okay, right. We have uh, some of them in uh, Middle East and we have them in Malta, UK, Australia, as everywhere. well as Hong Kong, everywhere. Okay, like what yeah. Ming mentioned just now, right, that this qualification allows you to cut across the different mm -hmm. countries. and they don't even have to graduate and they are already out there yep okay. that's, so that's because this qualification is indeed uh very prestigious and well sought after yeah and so, gives you the passport lah, to go anywhere that you want to in mm -hmm. any fields and, and we we see a lot of our students that are so successful um, in different fields and that's amazing yeah. and then uh when we saw some of them in the, uh, even companies like uh, uh, BCG, Bain, McKinsey, right, in advisory roles, right? Mm -hmm. And recently, I also had uh, the advanced level classes for SBM, and some of uh -huh. them are already in the, uh, uh, Singapore before they even have qualified. Okay, yeah. doing the professional level, they are already accepted into Singapore. So, you know, these are the things that, you know, how this qualification allows you to open doors, not just within Malaysia, but also, you know, around the world. So this, yep. this is one of the key things about this qualification. And sometimes, you know, when we see our students leave, right, and then they go to another country, we really see, you know, um, kind of miss them, you know. But when they come back for our advanced level classes, it's good to see them again. So that's nice. So what about the current students? Would you have any advice to our current students who are doing ICW now? So since some of the students that are into it today are actually doing <laughs> the course now. Well, uh, I'm sure everyone knows that ICW is a professional qualification, so it can be quite challenging at times. Okay, and you know, whenever you feel stressed, yeah, so you you spell out the word stress, S T R E S S E D. Now, if you try to spell backwards, what do you get, Jack? Do you know? Dessert. <laughs> dessert, exactly, dessert. So basically, right in time, all your hard work will pay off, lah, guys. Yeah, yes, yes, definitely. Just hard it's like work. How now I'm going to confidence have confidence in yourself. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Jack. Uh, just yeah. like how I'm now going to have myself a good macaron when we are stressed. I'll pass you one later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of you will have macarons at, at some point of time after you finish your ICW. Yep, that's yep, right. Yep. So, so that's that's my advice, lah. Um, put in lots of hard work. Believe in yourself, and success will go to you. Mm, yes, and I always believe that you know, no matter how much we give the students or help the students right at the end of the day they are the ones who actually work hard towards the qualification because you know if you want to learn how to become a marathon runner or a sportsman like your son okay <laughs> you know basically you have to be the one that is building the muscle you are the one that has to be build, building the experience so when you yeah. take the qualification it's definitely going to be something that uh, is yours right and the course allows you to build that okay so when you practice when you study when you are um, doing the uh, work-based learning as well as an internship with the firms, right? The, the the experience that you gain from this qualification, right, is yours. Okay, mm -hmm. nobody can take that away from you, right? Yeah. So you have to work hard, 
And even though sometimes you know lecturers will try to spoon feed you a little bit, okay, but at the end of the day, you still have to open up your mouth and chew, right? Yeah. So and have Connect. to take into consideration which is the dessert that actually suits you. You know, no matter how you know tasty it is, you have to really make the decision of at the end of the day, writing what you think is right and making that life decisions that you need to make. Okay, so this particular qualification allows you to do that. Okay, that's great. So can I now open to the floor if there's any questions from the floor? Do you have any questions from, from Mistress Lena or myself? Anyone have any questions? I guess we've convinced them. Yeah. <laughs> Since there's no questions. <laughs> <It is. Yep. laughs> That's great. Okay. So with that, I think... Um, Oh, can if I have interested... this opportunity to also say good luck to all the students that's taking the exam next week? Yes, yep, yep, all the yep. best. Good luck, everybody. Hi, Nigel. Okay, Nigel Thieu is in there, right? Oh, hi. Okay, Nigel has a question, Rosalina. Right. Is there any hurdle you have faced that and how you can manage to overcome it? Hurdle in terms <laughs> of teaching <laughs> or in terms of life? Um, or probably, you know, in a way that they're asking you a question about how do you face challenges and how do you actually, you know, overcome challenges? Um, it deserves. <laughs> anything in life, I see. I guess I, I just try my best in everything and put more than 100% into it. Okay. Um, and, and believe yeah, in believe yourself again. Yeah, because because at the end of the day, right, when even if you fail, you have to, you are going to tell yourself, you "Try your best." I try my best. Okay, yeah. so that's the key thing, because nobody could actually fault you if you have tried your best. That's the key. No, I, I mean if you did all your best, I'm sure mm. you will have a good outcome. Yes. Yeah. And you know whatever that you overcome or don't overcome. It's an right. experience. It's, be, it's an experience, and that will build you to the mm. next level, and right? So you better. fall, and you decide to what is the next step, okay? And pick yourself up. That's it. Just move on, right? And let the past be the past. That's the key. Great. How do you handle problematic students? Hmm. I don't think any students are problematic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, basically no, I, you know maybe i can I answer that, everyone uh, everyone is everyone different is in their own ways i mean yeah, different, everyone is different. But yeah there's it's not problematic i would say you know maybe mm. you have some difficulty and as long as you let us know we will help you no matter what mm. yeah yes because i believe that everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses that's right okay? everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses they are not problems they are just a uh, process of learning about yourself so when you know that there is a weakness that you have there all right or a problem that you have okay so what we have to do is to offer a solution and if that solution doesn't work we try another solution okay in life of course there's going to be problems but at the end of the day it's about taking action solving the problem and if the problem doesn't solve itself or the problem is not are uh, managed all right so what do you do we just have to learn from that process maybe another solution work. We just have to move on and learn. Okay. Yeah. So that's the key. And all of our, our lectures are very patient. So we will know how to handle all yeah. the different types of students. Even and... if they come to your house and, you know, <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> we are just fine with that. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So, so I still um, feel it, it's tough, but it's manageable. Yeah. Lah. If you put yeah. in your F, the effort, yeah. Okay, and we have got a uh, person who says here, ICW is not how smart you are, it's how disciplined and hardworking you are because right. the course is very transparent. They actually tell you what is needed, okay? So, and that's where if you work hard towards it, you will get there. Yeah, and they give you a question bank to practice. And if you, you know, if you do enough, you should be able to pass your exams. So the only reason why you would fail is you didn't work hard enough. Lah. Yep. And Miss Rusna, I think Ayman will have a message for you there. 
<laughs> and I'm on congratulations. Uh, Aiman, you, uh, already. <laughs> you just made my night, Ayman. <laughs> we were just talking about your group, Ayman. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I think that's all for today. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, right. everybody, for joining us. Okay, it's Thank great you. to see some of our old students here. And of course, there are some who have asked us some questions, right? So um, we enjoyed this session a lot. Okay. Yes. Uh, and if you're interested to know more about ICW course, uh, you may contact Miss Jeannie. All right. And that's the contact details. So we hope to see you soon. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks. Good night. Bye -bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Good night. Bye.